We've learned that the APIs Explorer lets you try out the API that your application exposes through endpoints. Google uses the APIs Explorer in the same way to let you investigate the API that are publicly available for the services that it provides. For example, let's consider Google's translation service. You can go to translate.google.com to translate text from one language to another right in the browser. Hmm, I wonder what lemon cake is in Spanish. Pastel de limón. I wonder if I said that right. You can use a browser like this to do translations, but you can also write applications that do translations using the Translate API. And you can try out the Translate API using the API's Explorer. It's easy to find the API's Explorer for Google's public APIs. Just search for it. Here it is, first result. When you go to the API's Explorer, you see the list of all the APIs that Google provides for developers to use. You can search or scroll down to the Translate API and click it. And you see the functions that the Translate API exposes. These are functions that you, the developer, can use in your own applications. OK, now it's your turn to try out the Translate API using the API's Explorer. So go to the API's Explorer for the translation service to find out the meaning of the name Gundega in English. Gundega is our instructional designer for this course. You can use the language.translations.list function to translate text. Set the target language to EN, which stands for English. When you've figured out what Gundega means in English, write it in this text field here. When you submit a translation, you can tell the translation service what the source language is, or you can let it try and figure out the source language for itself. So one more thing for you to figure out is what is the source language for Gundega. When you figure that out, go ahead and check the appropriate checkbox.